I've always been curious about the castor plant as it's the source of ricin, which is one of the world's most potent poisons. Now, uh, the castor plant was farmed for many, many years since maybe as far back as the Egyptians for its oil, but um, it also contains this uh, incredibly potent poison called ricin. The plant was made obsolete by the petroleum industry and it still grows as a weed and as an ornamental all over the world and here in the Dominican Republic it grows wild just about everywhere. First, let's take a look at the outside of the pod. Besides looking like an alien landscape under high magnification, um, I also see that the little spikes have tiny thorns at the end of them. There's some sort of insect inside the, the flower at the tip of the bud. It's not moving, so maybe it's dead, but hey, I got some pictures out of it. Time to cut this thing up. Inside, we find a couple of beans. Um, if we were making castor oil, we would collect thousands and thousands of these seed pods, break them open, extract the beans, mash them up, and then press them to extract the oil. To extract the rice in it's quite a bit more complex. You use the same bean mash, but you run some chemical processes on it to extract it out. The poison is so toxic, it only takes a couple of grains of sand to, uh, to kill a man. This is about the amount you would need, although this is just common table salt. I'm not sure what I expected to find out inside this little bean, but I was curious. It wasn't all that interesting, but at least I had fun looking inside. Thanks for watching.